Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. They just dropped the first teaser trailer for the Godzilla vs. Kong sequel and it's called Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. Godzilla and Kong will be teaming up in this one against a new villain who they also tease in the trailer. I'll explain who that is, there are a lot of good theories, like no, it's not Lanky Kong. That would be bold after the Super Mario Brothers movie, like oh wow, one of the other Kongs. But if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I'll do a movie ticket giveaway when it gets closer to coming out. We're actually doing one for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 this week too, so I'll name a new winner later in the video. The biggest thing in this new trailer is the actual team up, confirming what everyone assumed after Godzilla vs Kong and them ending in the Hollow Earth. Also, even though the title of the movie was Godzilla vs Kong, essentially they teamed up at the end of the movie to defeat Mechagodzilla, so they already started working together. But it's not like they're super best friends, like they kind of both went their separate ways at the end of the movie, like, okay, we're cool, we're not going to try and kill each other. It's a little tense between them, it's kind of like Vin Diesel and The Rock, like you can't put them in the same room for too long or they will start duking it out. But there are other worse people out there, thus the idea with this other new titan villain that they have to team up to destroy. The rest of the title though, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire, is partially a reference to this new place, the Hollow Earth, that they just moved Kong to at the end of the last movie. It's a new empire full of all kinds of titan history that they've slowly started to explore and reveal in easter eggs and details in all the monsterverse movies so far, like they've only just started to do hollow earth stuff. It's where most of the titans came from, the ones that were from planet earth. There are a couple of titans in the monsterverse that come from other planets, I'll talk about them in a second. But it's where all of Kong and Godzilla's ancestors came from, so when you see the bones of other Godzilla creatures, other large ape skulls, especially in the trailer too, that's a reference to their ancestors. In the trailer you see them tease that other primate titan on the throne, similar to Kong's ancient throne in the hollow earth with the bones of many titans in front of it, as well as the bones of Kong and Godzilla creatures. But it's meant to be a reference to this primate titan or its ancestors killing the ancestors of Godzilla and Kong before their ancestors left the hollow earth. Because you remember, both of their ancestors had been on the surface of the earth for a long time. It's just an idea of this whole cycle of dominance inside the hollow earth that's been going on since it became a thing, since the birth of all titans that lived on planet earth. All the titans that live there fighting to be king of all monsters. But during Godzilla King of Monsters, even going back to the dawn of humanity, we saw that Godzilla's ancestors had been worshipped as gods. Other titans had been worshipped by the people of Earth on the surface as gods. Kong's ancestors had moved to Skull Island for a long time, so there had been titans walking around on the planet's surface for a long time. We only saw some of the other titan species inside the hollow earth like they just teased it during the last movie, but we meet one of the other kings of all the titans in the trailer here. I think the whole idea is that at some point Kong's ancestors and Godzilla's ancestors moved to the surface, sort of leaving this power vacuum like we saw the Kong throne in the hollow earth, but it looks like it had been vacant for a long, long time. Power abhors a vacuum, especially when you're talking about titans, so this other primate titan or his ancestors probably sees control of all the other titans down there. And based on his reddish fur, his blue eyes, super lanky arms, I'd say this is a totally new orangutan titan that isn't from the canon from the previous monsterverse. I am the king of the Bandalog. Call me Louis. I couldn't find any history on them doing an orangutan titan before or even in the classic Toho films. So I think he's meant to be totally original and they're not jumping straight to Destroya. Like which other titans in the monsterverse would be powerful enough to require Kong and Godzilla to team up together to defeat them? The list isn't that long, like you could do Mecha Kong, we just did Mecha Godzilla. But clearly the monsterverse movies just started to take off, like Godzilla vs Kong did pretty well, so they haven't got to the point where they're ready for like an end game titan yet. And they only just started to explore the hollow earth. And speaking of titans like Destroya from other planets, we just did another alien titan from another planet, King Ghidorah. But the whole idea with the plot of all the monsterverse movies is that the story is based on the consequences from the previous movie. Like the real main villain in Godzilla vs Kong was Mechagodzilla and Apex, the evil corporation used one of King Ghidorah's heads from Godzilla King of Monsters that they'd salvaged after the events of that movie to create Mechagodzilla. I think the idea now heading into Godzilla x Kong is that Monarch went down into the hollow earth, set up a station for research there and started to explore more and Kong moved in and because he's one of the dominant titans, he started to take more territory. 
And eventually he winds up running into this other king level Titan, this other apex level Titan. And suddenly it's like The Rock and Vin Diesel running into each other at the gym. Like, dude, dude, what are you going to do? Even though the whole idea on all the MonsterVerse movies is that Godzilla is supposed to be king of all monsters, the idea is that the current Godzilla has been living above the surface for a long time, just hidden. Same thing with Kong, so this other orangutan titan and his ancestors have been ruling the hollow earth, all these other many hidden titans that we've just started to get teasers for. So this other orangutan titan sounds like he commands an army of other titans. They kind of tease this whole grand history, like this ancient history for the Kong race and Godzilla's race in the past couple of movies. So I think we'll also learn more history behind the Titans in the next one too. But essentially that makes this a hollow earth movie, which I think we all predicted like, oh wow, this is giant explorable space here. They just started to tease all these other huge Titan characters. Of course they want to do a movie about those characters. The idea is that they're building towards another three-way fight like we saw at the end of Godzilla vs. Kong where you have Godzilla and Kong thrashing the hell out of this new orangutan titan like they did with Mechagodzilla. And they want that fight to be interesting so I think that's why they picked an orangutan just based on its physical features, the way that an orangutan would fight a giant gorilla titan and a titan like Godzilla with their abilities. You notice how long the orangutan's arms are? It's not nearly as powerful as Kong. Like Kong is probably the strongest titan next to Godzilla. But he's more of a brawler. The orangutan titan would be way quicker and way more agile, able to escape or to keep Kong far enough away so that he couldn't get him in a bear hug. And the whole idea with Godzilla is that most of their attacks are area of effect or range DPS. Like, obviously, tail, very powerful, big tail swipes, very sharp claws, very sharp teeth. But it doesn't move that fast and its main attacks like the atomic breath has a charge up period and a cool down period so the orangutan would be able to dodge it pretty easily like you have to be pretty big slow and stand still in order to get hit by Godzilla's atomic breath. In Godzilla's area of effect attacks are mostly energy based his fire form for instance fire area of attack very powerful but has a longer charge up period and requires that it be near maximum radioactive charge like it has to be full chonky Godzilla full of radioactive energy. So they wanted to pick a titan villain that wouldn't be super weak to their collective main attacks right off the bat. But I think the whole idea here is that if Godzilla doesn't also move back to the Hollow Earth, then Kong will become the new king of titans inside the Hollow Earth, like the new king of the Hollow Earth, while Godzilla is king of monsters on the planet's surface. The official synopsis that they released just reads, Pitting the almighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world in the Hollow Earth, challenging their very existence and our own, the epic new film will delve further into the histories of these titans, like we'll get more titan history like I said, their origins and the mysteries of Skull Island and beyond while uncovering the mythic battle that helped forge these extraordinary beings and tied them to humankind forever. My early theory is that they'll uncover the history of how Kong and Godzilla's ancestors came to be worshipped by humanity and came to be their protectors, like they protected them from the more dangerous titans like this orangutan race. Some of the characters will come back from the last movie, like Rebecca Hall's Eileen Andrews, who's one of the researchers working for Monarch studying Kong, Brian Tyree Henry's Bernie Hayes, who was an Apex employee and ran that Titan podcast. Dan Stevens is one of the new main characters. It doesn't say who he's playing. He might be a new Titan researcher working for Monarch or studying the Hollow Earth. And Bala Chen, who most of you will probably remember is Shang Chi's younger sister in the Marvel movies. It doesn't say who she's playing either. Maybe another Monarch employee. Legendary is still doing the MonsterVerse TV show with Apple. That's a totally different thing, but set in the same universe. They haven't said much about that recently or where it fits in the timeline of the MonsterVerse movies. It'll follow Monarch, probably some new Titans in addition to Godzilla and Kong. They did say that Godzilla and Kong would figure into the series. There were also a lot of rumors about them doing Son of Kong in the new movies. I don't know if that's happening or if it was just a rumor. But they're basically building their way up the ladder, bigger and badder Titans into their own version of a MonsterVerse Avengers Endgame level event. That's probably when they would do a Titan like Destroya from the canon. That's like the last Titan you would do in the very final movie. The Thanos of all Titans. The movie's coming out around this time next year, so we'll probably get a full trailer later this year. Of course, I'll do more videos when we get more footage. Everyone post all your theories about what's going on, the main villain, and what's going on with Kong and Godzilla, the other titans in the comments below. Congratulations, Alabasi97. You're the giveaway winner from my Guardians of the Galaxy giveaway. Email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Click here for my brand new Mandalorian Season 4 teaser video, and click here for my full Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 8 finale video. 
Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.